Statistics and Excel. Bell curve batting average comparison. Get ready, taking a deep breath, holding it in for 10 seconds, looking forward to a smooth, soothing Excel. Here we are in Excel. If you don't have access to this workbook, that's okay because we'll basically build this from a blank worksheet. But if you do have access, currently five tabs down below. The two example tabs, in essence, answer keys. The two practice tabs having pre-formatted cells so you can get to the heart of the practice problem. The blank tab, blank worksheet, so we can practice formatting cells within Excel as we work through the practice problem. Let's go to the example tabs to get an idea of what we will be doing, starting with the data tab, where we will be pulling baseball statistics information in from an online resource, building them into a table so that we can sort and filter the table, pulling what we want from the table, in this case, batting averages, and putting them into a separate tab so we can focus just on those items that we want. We'll do some of our standard statistical calculations, the mean, the standard deviation, the median, comparing two years of batting average information. Probably won't be doing 2020. I think we'll do 2022 and then uh, 1920. And then if it conforms to a bell curve distribution as we expect it would, then we'll do some of our graphing of the bell curves, plotting the relative uh, bell curve information and since we have two sets of data this is what's different in part from some practice problems we've done in the past one being we're taking the data